Hi, my name is Joe, and welcome to the channel rather dubiously called Rufio, where I use this content to trick you into thinking I'm capable of playing the Yu-Gi-Oh card game on any kind of level at all, part of the burden of being the best YouTuber in my street. So why don't you go ahead and hit subscribe for me, whether it's just because you like trash tier content or maybe just because you pity me. I don't mind either way, I just need every bit of help I can get. This content is brought to you in association with my Chungai buddies over at Jam Jam Cards UK. If you want to find excellently priced singles or maybe you just want to shift some of that cardboard crack you have a little bit too much of, they'll be more than happy to give you the hookup. You can find the links to the eBay store and the Facebook page in the description. Hi guys, Joe here from Rufio. If you're watching on Jamie's channel, this may be a little bit weird for you. I'm talking over the top of his camera. We, and we are both the, here. We do the intros. It's my hands on both cameras. <laughs> bit weird, you can watch them side to side. <laughs> We've got Big P here doing his Megalith deck profile that he definitely made up himself. Slightly. Slightly. And uh, he wants to show it off to us today, so we're going to get stuck in, I guess. <laughs> Basically. I mean, low key, low key. Do the, yeah, do the, the dual camera drop in. Let's go. Let's go. Cool. Right. So, we start off with the uh, Megalith Monsters. So, you play three of the Ophir. Uh, this is your Monster Searcher. Mm -hmm. um, and Ritual cards. They're all Ritual cards. Um, so yeah, this one searches your Monsters. Very good. Not once per turn. Do the search. It's lovely. Play uh, three of the Haggith, which one searches your spells and traps, technically. Um, again, it ritual summons when it's on the field. Uh, so this is also very good. We play the new uh, three of the new card. The Broken. Full. This card is actually insane. Um, when it's ritual summoned, you can target a, another Megalith monster in the graveyard, add it back to your hand, and it becomes the same level as that monster. Uh, and then uh, during either player's turn, it can ritual summon from the deck, not using itself, which is just insane. Like ritual summoning, like summoning from the deck has always been broken, but this deck does it with so much ease. Uh, it's really dumb. Um, and it's level two, which is really cool as well for adding block dragon. There's just everything about this card is perfect for what the deck needed. Yeah. Uh, so on, we then play some of the big boys. We play uh, two Bethel. Uh, so these ones, um, the big ones, you can discard them from your hand to Ritual Summon. Um, and when this one's summoned, it destroys cards on the field up to yeah, the amount of different know. named Ritual Monsters in your graveyard. Which in this deck could be up to like 9 monsters. And you can summon it in your opponent's turn. So you, yeah, it pops cards when it's summoned and it's insane. Sounds pretty naughty. Yes. Uh, Arathon. Um, it's also the same, but it's Ritual Summon to discard, it's also a quick play, so you can discard this in your opponent's turn to Ritual Summon, uh, which is really cool, so it, it essentially makes uh, all your other ones hand traps, like, you just discard it, summon, then pop cards, so on. Mm -hmm. uh, when it's on the field, uh, it also is target negation, uh, so if anything targets a uh, Megalith monster, you can negate it and destroy it. Yep. It's decent, you don't normally summon it very often though. Uh, we play some one offs, we play the one off. Uh, when it's ritual summoned, it uh, draws a card. Uh, it also has the same, similar ritual uh, effect as the other small ones, only this one is quick play. And it also can ritual summon generic ritual monsters, not necessarily Megalith monsters, uh, which is really cool for summoning Dark Magician of Chaos Max in your opponent's turn. Um, you don't want to play more than one of them. Uh, play one Phalag. Uh, is just another big one. Same discard to ritual summon. And when it's summoned, it boosts all monsters on the field, uh, on your side of the field, by uh, 300 for every ritual monster in your graveyard. So, which can just lead to blowing out huge, huge damage. Um, again, you're only, only really playing it because you want another level 8. Yeah. Uh, so, it's, it's okay. Uh, then into ritual support monsters, we play three Chalice Slime. Yep. Uh, Chalice Slime just like, all, ever since it came out, it's been like just this extra thing for rituals to get them going. So. Strong. Yeah, so you reveal it, discard a card to summon an incantation from your, uh, from your deck. Like, pretty good. And if you don't ritual summon the turn, you burn yourself, but that's rarely going to happen. 
Uh, you've read, you don't ever get it on the field, but you, it does um, do a um, scrap dragon like effect where you send a uh, in incantation destroy card yeah. on the field. So that really. Uh, one of supports, you play the Black uh, of Black Chaos Max. This uh, card's actually insane. Yeah, if you can summon it in your opponent's turn, it knocks them out of monster effects. Like, that's really cool. <laughs> that's pretty nice. And if you um, destroy a monster in battle, I think it adds a magic spell card back to your hand, or a ritual card back to your hand. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like, like a doesn't come up, demon, but... right? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it doesn't come up too much, but the, the locking out monster effects is the, the main reason to play this card. Yeah. So you summon this with the arc in your opponent's turn. Who knew that would actually be a useful card? <laughs> the Elder Entity right? deck isn't gone. Yeah. Uh, then we play one Benton, um, because it gets you into... Has it got that cool watch? <laughs> Comes in ten different uh, monsters. Yeah, it's Cartoon uh, Network memes. <laughs> when it's used for ritual summon, you add a uh, light fairy, which can be any of these five DT ones only. Yep, you, you play the Jew package. Um, yep, they, now they I have to censor that. <laughs> <laughs> Ju, stop being so anti-Semitic. It's Ju, Manju, Senju. They are Jamie Jews. the Kid anti-Semitic confirmed. <laughs> no. no, I have to. You <laughs> <laughs> pay, pay this package uh, because you know their ritual support. It's they're good. They search monsters. They search the spell. Uh, it's good. Uh, we play some hand traps. You should play rares the better. Yeah, uh, yeah. But, you know. The Jam Jam card sponsorship doesn't bring you in with nice cards. <laughs> they brought me in with the rares. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> anyway, you play these um, because uh, a lot of your turns start off just by playing uh, a spell card. Yeah. Uh, and, which can be ashed. If they do that, you can summon this. Uh, it's good against uh, Zexel if they don't back it up with another negate. It's generally just quite a good card, um, but it also has a dual use of summon, you summon Gamma with Needle Fiber for part of your combo. Uh, so it's a dual use um, hand trap. Sure. Um, and also the Cypher and Dragon being high level is surprisingly relevant. And also this being a level 2 is also surprisingly relevant. I think, I think Gamma is just really strong at the moment anyway. It's having one of those formats like yeah. it does where... Yeah. In, this, in this deck it's like just really good. It's just a good coincidence of it being the right level, being a tuner, not being as much of a brick as you tend to get with hand traps. Yeah. Especially in a ritual deck where you're, you can't really afford a lot of room for hand traps because you need monsters, you need levels to yeah. do your things. Yeah, yeah. And all the hand traps being like level 3 and level 1 doesn't mesh well with the level 4 and higher arc yeah. Um So, yeah, there. Uh, then the normal incantation monsters, we're playing just the candle and the talisman drink. Uh, talisman drink, whatever it's called. Uh, talisman drink. Um, this is a uh, remnant from the, the deck that I copied off from the LCS. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I think I would play uh, maybe one or two more of these. A lot of times I found that I had either drawn one uh, and the chalice slime in the same hand, and then I basically I could either summon this, and then I wouldn't. I'd have a dead chalice line in my hand, um, or I draw both of these. And I just there's a lot of times where I draw. I want another one in my deck um, after I've summoned. They can be so much more. Yeah, yeah, like the the ritual spell card um, requires you to discard a uh, incantation to summon another one from your deck. And if you've already you if, if you've used this to add the the spell card, you just got this deck. Like you're only using it to make the you don't get the additional value. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. So having the extra one in your deck just increases your consistency in, or the value you get from the cards it gets. Yeah. Just trying to apologize about the noise levels a little bit here, yeah. guys. We are at our locals, so <laughs> let's get a bit rowdy. Just a wee bit. So anyway. They're, they're good. I'd probably play another one. Uh, rock Dragon, because it's a rock type. Just the one? Just the one. Um, honestly, preparing for the ban list. <laughs> <laughs> honestly, like, you don't, you don't really need to, more than one. If it gets interrupted, you're not getting to another one. Yeah. Anyways, if you draw it, that's fine, that's whatever. But the point is that you're only ever going to get to one and you only ever need one. So... Okay. Yeah. Uh, then we play Researcher for Block Dragon levels. Uh, because it's a two, you can add this, a full, and a level four. Uh, so that's so. why it only plays the one, because you're only yeah. using it you're for only... the level. Yeah, pretty much. 
Uh, and also, it's a special summon to make the needle fiber. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're never using its uh, X click ever. Like, there's no targets for it. So. Yes. Um, I'm playing Despot One uh, in this today. Uh, I'm going to be changing this to a Magical Hound. Yeah, which is another Earth Level One tuner, uh, which um, you can target a spell card or track card based off on your opponent's side of the field. Return it to their hand and then special summon it from your graveyard. Okay. Or your hand. Um, once per duel, but it's like uh, for going second, it helps you get rid of your opponent's board. Um, it just seems to have more applications than Despot One, which can only summon itself from the graveyard if you make the link box. Yeah, because uh, we don't play the um, the mech Yeah. Any thoughts on any other Earth tuners like the Adhar or any, is it Adhar the the Earth yeah, one? I'd play Grout Bolt. <laughs> yeah, well, I think we'd all um, play Bolt if we could. Let's be honest. No, uh, to be honest, like the you're only. It doesn't really matter. It's a level one Earth tuner for okay. Na I wasn't sure there was maybe more for so, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Um, you only make get needle fly but you haven't get the point. Anyway, that's all the monsters. Um, spells. This card's insane. Mm -hmm. um, so it's quick play. Uh, ritual summons from your deck. Uh, which seems pretty good. It's cute. As we've been over ritual summoning, uh, summoning from your deck is always a broken. Yeah. Uh, you ritual, you summon from your deck using um, levels double the level of the monster you're summoning. So if you're summoning level four, you need an eight. If you're summoning the full, you need a level four. If you're summoning a level eight, you need lots of monsters, which you never do. Mm -hmm. um, but it is there. The fact that it's quick play as well is really nice. Um, if you're not stupid like I was today, uh, and your opponent ogres your card, you can chain this, then use the monster they're ogring to get rid of it. They're targeting like well, anything that will destroy your cards, you can just chain this, get that value off the, uh, off the levels. Um, it also has an effect to lower your opponent's attack of their monsters by 500 for every ritual monster on your field. Yep. Can come up if you're trying to get over a mega plot, uh, you make the next XYZ. You lower that level. Something you have to actually think summon, about. The summon the, the guy who boosts attack and you can get over it. It's we have about two minutes before we have to wrap this up. That's okay. Cool. Uh, I'll speak through it. There's not much left. Uh, one portal is an additional um, search with your spell searching guy. Mm -hmm. Protects your ritual monsters. Uh, when you ritual summon, you can add a ritual summon monster back from your grave. It's okay. Uh, the incantation ritual, as we were talking earlier. Um, it, you can add it with the candle and then you summon your level 4 guy. Uh, broken ritual searches uh, being these. You know, it searches any of any group, just well, basically sends Herald or it can send Entus to destroy a card. So this is dual use. Um, yeah. I'm not, I'm not playing Lintus because I wasn't brought in with one because apparently the guy mailed it to himself. <laughs> uh, some people. <laughs> uh, the extra Two Herald. Uh, you make Herald as part of your combo. Oh, Herald's just a good card. In a ritual deck, it's even better. You, see, you yeah, get to yeah. search your stuff with them. Um, and also, if they Maximus you, you can go, okay, I'll add two, <laughs> add, add two cards. Great. This card is done. Broken. You make it with Needle Fiber, Gamma, and um, your Borrowed Savage Dragon. Locks your opponent out from playing the game at all for the return. You just win. You just win after this, yeah. They can't do anything. They set some cards. You summon your guy that pops cards. You blow everything up. You attack them again. Um, Turia Beast uh, negates spell cards. Mills cards, meaning you can mill your rituals, which means you have more rituals in the graveyard for blowing up more cards in their turn. It's, yeah. Negates spell cards. March of the Combos. Uh, Borrow Savage Dragon, broken. broken card. It's also part of the combo to make the uh, Hot Red Dragon up being King of Amity's yeet you out of the game. Uh, Forming of Synchron, part of the combo, draws your card in that turn. Uh, carrier, in case your um, Gallic Granite gets negated to search Block Dragon. Yep. Uh, access code go brrr. Cross Sheet, uh, the play this is still Cerberus because if you ritual summon while this is on the field and put to a point, you have to draw two cards, discard two cards. That's consistency. It, yeah. More important than Cerberus, uh, Earth or Block Dragon. Link Cross, combos. Needle Fiber, combos. Destroy Back Row. Search Block Dragon. Mm. And Dweller for dweller things, things that do Dweller things. Yeah, you can make it. This is probably an Entis in the final build. Mm. Uh, side deck wasn't relevant. No, no. Um, 
Closing thoughts. Uh, the deck is really good and quite resilient. You just need a five head to actually play it well. Um, so not you then, no? Not me at the moment, but <laughs> with some more practice, I think this can really get like, quite good. The fact is, this deck is so cheap because everything is common and one so research. <laughs> Apart from the one researcher, which honestly you don't even really need to play. You can play, a play any level two run. Right. I mean, you could add two, um, two fills. With the, the thing. So, anyways. Finally, uh, any last shout outs before we sign this all out? Jam Jam Cards UK on eBay. Go to them, buy your cards. Uh, Mana Screw, Northampton, for get, letting us play here. Rufio, Jamie the Kid, thank you very much. It's been our absolute um, pleasure. Thank you guys so much for watching on both of the channels. Leave a like behind. Get enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new to either of us. And we'll see you guys very, very soon with some more Yu Gi related content. Peace out. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the garbage content I put together for you. Enough to hit subscribe and maybe even drop a thumbs up and a comment. Before you go, be sure to check out the links in the description to help support the people who are making this channel a possibility. Thanks again for checking in and I'll see you in the next one.